Stop two on the Co-op FIS Cross Country World Cup saw the athletes make the short trip from Finland to Norway as the 1994 Olympic resort in Lillehammer played host to three days of pulsating action. First up, it was the women in the 10km individual start free around the former Olympic biathlon track. Jesse Diggins of the United States of America was one of the latest starters and she was attempting to chase down the time of Germany's Katharina Hennig who had been the long-time leader. In sight of the finish and Diggins pulled out all the stops and squeezed home by 3.8 seconds. Henning, out sat 30, had swept all before her and on the run-in had a big advantage over Fossholm as she crossed the line. Heidi Wing was the best of the home athletes, squeezed off the podium last week. This time the Norwegian wrapped up the podium. Confirmation of the final results of the women's 10km individual free start. Jesse Diggins taking the victory that ties her with Keegan Randall for the most World Cup wins by an American woman of 13. The men were next in action with their 10km individual start free and the home fans had high hopes for their athletes. Eva Anderson going at 32 is in only his second ever World Cup race. He had a massive advantage with 1,800 metres to go and it was an advantage he maintained to set the best time. Dietrich Turnset was very much in the mix at just after halfway and was still very much in it at the finish but agonisingly for him was just 2.8 seconds off the pace. Hans Holland also of Norway was just under 10 seconds off the pace at halfway and his margin at the finish line was very similar. Norway dominating the 10km individual free with just Andy Musgrave, the only non-Norwegian in the top 10. What a day for 22-year-old Anderson, his maiden World Cup win on home snow. Day two saw the sprint free races for both men and women, with the women up first. Emma Ribbon of Sweden, who took her maiden win last week in Lucca after a fall by Maya Dahlquist, was quickest in qualification. In the final, the Swede continued her quick form and in a head-to-head -head with Dahlquist down the finishing straight, she kept her cool to make it back-to-back -back sprint victories. Another 1-2 for Sweden in the women's sprint final, the tall ring of Norway claiming third. Attention now turned to the men with the Norwegian fans full of expectation once again. Johannes Kleibo, who had pulled out of the 10km on day one due to not feeling well, returned to action and made the final of a highly decorated sprinters. The Norwegian in the white hat timed his ski to perfection and outclassed the field in the finishing straight to come home comfortably in front. Federico Pellegrino of Italy notched up his first podium of the new season in second, but even Norto came home third for only his second ever podium. Clivo, though, in a class of his own, his 52nd World Cup victory. The final day of action in Lillehammer was a 20 km mass start classic race. The women were out first. At the quarter way mark, it was Eva Anderson, winner of the 10km Classic in Rucker on weekend one, who had the lead. But with one lap remaining, Frida Carlson of Sweden, who won the 20km free pursuit in Rucker, had the lead. But the field closed her down on the final lap to make it a tight finish. But the 23 year old held on to collect her second win of the new season and third podium overall, till Wing of Noy was second with Anderson third. Wing leads the overall World Cup standings from Carlson and Diggins. And so to the final race of the weekend, as the men raced over 20 kilometres. Unsurprisingly, this was a close affair from start to finish, with several racers getting their noses in front. Paul Goldberg led the field early on, closely followed by Andy Musgrave. William Poroma and Jens Berman of Sweden were pushing the pace with just under two and a half to go. But by the time of the finish, it was Norway at the front, and Paul Goldberg took the victory from Sjur Rota and Martin Jinget. The first win of the season for Goldberg as he extends his lead in the overall standings. Next week, the athletes stay in Norway as they move to Beitostolen, 150 kilometers to the west of Lillehammer.